Welcome to Physics 2212 Lab 4, Circuits and Capacitors. The main goals of this investigation are to predict and examine the behavior of circuits. A simple circuit was modified in multiple ways to examine the behavior of simple circuits, and an RC circuit was constructed to examine the behavior of RC circuits. Importantly, circuits are constructed in the FET Simulation Circuit Construction Kit. The main findings of the investigation are shown, including the time constant of an RC circuit. Two key concepts are the node rule and the loop rule. The node rule states that at a junction, the current entering the junction equals the sum of the currents from each fork of the junction. When the junction recombines, the node rule states that the current entering a junction equals the current leaving the junction. The loop rule states that the difference in potential for a round trip path around a circuit equals zero. Importantly, the loop rule can be used to calculate in the current and the potential difference at different areas of a circuit. Electrical resistance measures how much an object slows down the current and when constant can be defined by Ohm's law, which states that the resistance is equal to the potential difference divided by the current. When resistors are in parallel, the equivalent resistance is the sum of the inverse of the resistances of the resistors. When resistors are in series, the equivalent resistance is the sum of the resistances. Capacitance is the measure of charge that can be stored in the capacitor for each unit of potential difference. Capacit capacitance is equal to the magnitude of the charge on one capacitor divided by the potential difference, which is equivalent to the area and the vacuum permittivity divided by the separation distance. Here are some visual models for the circuits that were created in this investigation. The system is the device measuring the current or potential difference, and the surroundings is the circuit being measured. In part one, a simple circuit was created with the parameters shown. The amateurs then measured the current flowing through the circuit. Importantly, the predicted current and measured current are nearly identical. When the amateur is reversed, the measured current is negative as the current enters the amateur through the other end. In part two, the same simple circuit is used, but one amateur is replaced with a voltmeter. The result is a measured potential difference of three volts from the batteries in a current of zero amperes. This is due to the high internal resistance of the voltmeter, which essentially opens the circuit and impedes the flow of current. In part three, the voltmeter is replaced with wire and the potential difference at different points in the circuit were measured. Importantly, the potential differences satisfy the loop rule as the sum of potential differences equals zero volts. The graph in the bottom right shows the sum equaling zero volts. In part four, the same circuit is reconstructed such that an ammeter is parallel to the 100 ohm resistor. The resulting current is greater than the current from the original circuit because the resulting junction allows for more current to bypass the resistor, allowing for the overall current to increase. In part five, the resistant values for different components of the simple circuit were calculated. Using Ohm's law and experimentally determined values, the resist resistances of these components were calculated and are shown here. In part six, an RC circuit was constructed with the components shown on the slide. Then the time to charge the capacitor and the time to discharge the capacitor were measured. For each resistor, the time to discharge nearly equals the time to charge the capacitor. Between the capacitors, the 20 ohm resistor leads to a near doubling of the time to charge and discharge relative to the 10 ohm resistor. In part seven, an RC circuit with the components shown on the slide was constructed. The circuit was then closed to allow the capacitor to charge. Then the battery was removed and the circuit was closed again to allow the capacitor to discharge. At one second intervals up to 20 seconds, the potential difference of the capacitor was measured. Finally, the plot of the natural log of potential difference divided by the initial potential difference was taken over time. The plot gave a linear slope, which was then used to calculate the time constant RC of the RC circuit. This time constant equals 5.984 seconds. Note that in part five, the calculated resistance values are greater than the actual resistance values due to a lack of precision in the amateur in the FET simulation. In addition to a lack of precision, other sources of error include rounding errors during calculations, timing errors during part six, especially when determining when the current reached zero, and no consideration of resistance in amateurs or wires. A real amateur has a small non-zero resistance. Therefore, if this investigation was conducted with a real circuit, the amateur would read a slightly lower current value due to resistance from the amateur and the wires. In the FET simulation, the capacitor in an RC circuit charges almost instantly. 
However, due to resistance found in the wires and in the capacitor, a real RC circuit would not charge up instantaneously because this, this resistance impedes the current, leading to more time for charges to flow through and therefore build up.